don't change the subject. Your mother's been calling for a little help, and none of you have moved. We said we'd be right there. You said it, but you didn't do it. We need a little more action around here. Active participation is the basis of good citizenship. A good citizen doesn't shirk his duty. He does his share to help others. And what's more, he doesn't have to be asked a hundred times. He volunteers willingly and cheerfully. Is that clear? in December and January. I mean, the weather is terrible. Who wants to be out standing around in, in the rain and the cold to, to protest? And I left departure bay, heading east the rain, set in the sea. This is my first protest. It's my first sign. <laughs> well, I think the groundswell of, of, of strong numbers and people saying in a strong, united voice can have an influence. And uh, certainly we hope that it has an influence in this, in this occasion, for sure. As someone who has been a community activist in Nanaimo for quite some time now, I've seen uh, the numbers of people growing. And I think that's a really positive thing. Unfortunately, the numbers grow because of issues that really don't need to be issues. There's so many issues. And I think if we don't stand up now, the Canada we know is gone. People are waking up. The more they understand what's going on, the more they dislike it. Would you say that you're, uh, you're an activist? Who? Me? What do you mean? Uh, um, we mustn't do it now, now, now we need to build. Well, I think we've all heard the stereotypes about activists. They're disconnected, uh, grumpy. Uh, uh. But the, the social research uh, indicates quite the opposite, something I think that activists know intuitively, um, that uh, activists tend to be very connected, well connected um, in their communities. Perhaps not surprising at all to activists that they, they tend to be happier. <laughs> Fight for justice. Individually happier and um, healthier. And I think that comes from that engagement with their society. I you know, have detected a huge difference between the first year that I had on council and, and now because of social media, because of the fact that a lot of people um, expect instant answers, have instant access, and uh, you've got to keep up with the time. There are a number of people in our community who don't feel that they've got a voice, they don't feel that they've got a power, any, any way to, to express themselves, so they come together and they share. I think that municipalities um, in particular, in many places in the world, are, are responding to the um, pressure from citizens to be more involved in decision making. I'm a gamefully employed middle class citizen and I'm here to support every person's right. Ah. I love Nanaimo. Nanaimo is a great place to live. But you know what? I'm not getting on That's why these people are here with you tonight, to stand with you. For everybody. It's not just happening to the First Nations anymore and we were pretty idle when it was happening to First Nations, but now we're aware it's happening to What is an activist? Somebody that cares. I think sometimes the media has portrayed it as a negative thing. And I, for me, it's a positive thing. This is our harbor and it's going to be privatized. We hope you look into it. Okay, I'll pay attention to that. Thank you. I'm here to uplift our hearts today so that I can feel good and feel good about what we're doing and to give us a reason, a reason to live. We 
are actually just uh, up here in Nanaimo. I actually even brought my daughter here from school too to her and have awareness as well. This is part of her future as well. I'm really passionate about standing up for not just First Nations but Canadians as our country because we deserve that right to grow up and become old with a nice clean environment. So I believe we have the power to create change and I believe we have the power to stop this particular development if we all listen to one another. Mom, we won. We've saved the harbour. Dad should buy take an active part in things. He's a little apt to sit back and let the others do it. What amazes me is you try and try to get a point over to the kids, and you swear they're not paying any attention to you at all. And then a few days oh, later... He's worthless. Bombs can't build a boat. It's double hauled. But it's worthless! What happened? The union got at it? Yes. I think that's what it was. Union workforce. They win. Lazy buggers. They don't teach you. They okay, don't teach you. Well, I think we found oil. We're going to drill out here now. We're going to make so much profit for this coast with all the oil. You bet. For the economy. For the economy.